all you wonderful people. I'm in the city of Sakai, in the south of Osaka. And if you like bloody sea tales, well, you better stay tuned, because you're in one! Adventures in Japan. Sakai City is known for about three things. The Kofuns, which are the grave sites of former emperors, bicycles, knives, and you can add a fourth one. The story of the Sakai incident. This city was and is a port town, a history which they obviously like to talk about. However, in the 1600s, the Japanese did something called Sokoku, which means blows country, meaning no one was coming in, no one was coming out. The story of why and how they did that is a completely different video. However, in the 1800s, a man named Matthew Perry, not to be confused from the guy from Friends, came over and said, you need to open your country. And then they opened it. To be exact, the country opened up in 1853. But what's strange is in 1868, there was a very bloody attack that happened right here. In March 1868, the French ship the Duplay came into Sakai. They brought their French sailors and put them onto the shore. This area was being guarded by the Tosa clan. These samurai saw the French sailors and they say there might have been a dispute and this caused 11 French sailors to be murdered by the Japanese samurai. They call this the Sakai incident. So for 15 years at this point, Japan was an open country. So it's not like they weren't allowed to port and dock on to the shores of Sakai. However, the sailors spoke French, the Tosa samurai spoke Japanese. There is a confusion on why they were killed. Some say that the sailors provoked the samurai, causing them to attack. Others say that the sailors showed a lot of disrespect, stepping on their flags, not showing room for custom, causing the samurais to react. Why it happened is lost to time and the sea. However, 11 French sailors were dead. Obviously, the French captain was pissed. They demanded about $150,000 and also the deaths of the people responsible. Now, the French really wanted to have death by firing squad. But a firing squad isn't an honorable death in Japan. So they said, we'll do it by seppuku, which is where they take a knife, stick it in themselves, and then kill themselves so they keep honoring the family and they died an honorable death. The French, probably not understanding the relevance of what they were doing, said, sure, we'll do that. We're going to take the 20 men that are responsible and we want to see them executed. This suicide ceremony did not happen here. It happened in a temple just down the road. Let's go. By the way, the lighthouse here, which is a really nice site, was built in 1877, which is nine years after the Sakai incident. It's amazing that this thing is still standing and it's original place. Whoa, hold on. Right next to where I was shooting, there's a park that has monkeys in it. I don't know where to go, but I'm gonna find it. Holy crap. There's like a cage in the middle of, of this park that just has a crap ton of monkeys in it. All right, that was a short diversion to see the monkeys, but I'm calling all the dogs out to try to help me find this shrine. Hopefully they can find it too. And there it is, Myo Kokuji, the shrine where the samurais committed seppuku. The captain of the French ship came here and watched as one by one, the samurais spilled their guts. Now, seppuku is a disgusting way to go out, but they say they made it extra disgusting by cutting their intestines. So blood was just coming out as they stared and died. One after another came up to die. I imagine that the captain was absolutely shocked with what he was seeing. Blood spilling on the floor, bodies collapsing and seizing. The stoic samurai who were giving their lives for a mistake that they made. However the case, once it came to the 11th samurai to kill himself, the captain of the ship said, okay, 
that's enough. And I'm sure the samurai were happy to find out they were not going to die. But what if you were the 11th person? And then on the 12th person, they say, ah, oh, you're, you're okay. Man, that'd be terrible. The amount of people killed was equal to the amount of people that were punished. And they walked away. Now, obviously, this started because of a disagreement. But the fact that remains is 22 people died because of this conflict. If there is indeed a moral to this story, I would say that it's try to communicate. There were obviously two parties that had two different ideas. And instead of communicating or finding common ground, they fought. And that unleashed the dragon in them. And I think in this modern time, we also have to think of ways of communicating with each other without exploding. But folks, that's all just food for thought. I gotta tell you, I really enjoy doing videos like this, going out, researching, experiencing the past, and then telling it to you. If you like this kind of content, leave a like. If you wanna see more of this kind of stuff, leave a comment down below. It really tells me that you're interested. As I always say, you can do it, I can do it, we can all do it, stay groovy. It looks like it's about to rain, so I gotta head out of here and hit the trains before it does that. And always remember, be nice to one another.